here today. It's muy bueno ver a todos esta mañana. Been a difficult week for a lot of folks around the world and in our community. Ha sido una semana muy difícil para gente en todas partes del mundo y aquí en nuestra comunidad también. Our prayer this morning that invites us to prepare our hearts for worship asks the question, who is he? And it traces the life of Christ from when he was born in Bethlehem through his teaching ministry, his death on the cross, and his glorious resurrection, and his ascension into the Father's presence where he makes intercession for us. And the answer comes back, who is he? He is the King of glory. We're in his house this morning. We're gathered in his presence to worship him. Hay un video para nosotros esta mañana, eh, una forma de preparar nuestro corazón para adorar al Señor. Y el video, la música pregunta, ¿Quién es él? Y menciona aspectos de la vida de Jesús, su nacimiento en Belén, su ministerio, los milagros, su crucifixión y muerte y su gloriosa resurrección y ascensión a la presencia del Padre donde Él intercede por nosotros. Usa este tiempo para preparar tu corazón para adorar al Señor. We invite you as the video plays to use this time to prepare your heart to worship God.
Would you bow with me for prayer? Please and deeply to unite with both those in the name of Jesus. As we gather in your name this morning, O oh God, our hearts break for a world that's hurting. Esta mañana en tu presencia, Señor, nos reunimos para adorarte, pero con un corazón quebrantado por los que están abolidos. We think of the people in Afghanistan, Lord, and our eyes have seen the images of the tragedy going on there and the crisis that exists. We ask for your power to intervene and to bring peace. Pensamos en Afganistán, Señor, y la crisis que existe. Pedimos, Señor, que tu poder puede interceder y traer la paz. We think of our dear brothers and sisters in Haiti and the earthquake that they suffered and the thousands who died and the many tens of thousands who have been injured and displaced. We know our Comrade Salvation Army soldiers are there serving. We ask that your Holy Spirit would give them strength and comfort, that you would motivate generosity on the part of your people around the world to give, to bring hope to those in Haiti. Nuestro corazón, Señor, está con los de Haití que sufrieron este terremoto, miles que han muerto y muchos más que han sufrido. Gracias por nuestras camaradas salvacionistas, soldados que están allí sirviendo en tu nombre. Aumenta su fe, Señor, y su fuerza para traer palabras de esperanza y ayuda en esa situación. We see a resurgence of a COVID variant in our country, God, and there's different places where the hospitals are full and families are grieving those who've been lost once again. We ask, oh God, for your protection and for your help, for strength and peace to surround all of us in this hour of need. Con el virus, coronavirus, el COVID, Señor, no hay respuesta, no hay remedio sino en ti y buscamos Señor tu consolación y tu gracia y tu paz para los que están de luto por seres queridos que han muerto y los hospitales que están llenos we also pray for the children who've gone back to school this week oh God and the teachers and the staff members who bravely are going into the school to teach and to bring the community and the children together once again. We ask your protection. We thank you for all of those teachers and staff and those families. We ask your blessing on the children. Bendice los niños, Señor, que han regresado a la escuela después de un año sin clases. Bendice los maestros y los miembros del staff que con valentía están sirviendo otra vez. Protégelos y aumenta su fe, Señor, para confiar now, as we dedicate this hour to worship you, we ask, Holy Spirit, that you would speak to us. Habla, Dios Espíritu Santo, en esta hora dedicado a tu adoración. Our focus this morning is on the Holy Spirit teaching us all things, and so we ask that to happen. Nuestro tema esta mañana, Señor, es como el Espíritu Santo nos puede enseñar todas cosas. Y pedimos, Señor, que eso puede ocurrir en el corazón de cada uno. In your holy name we ask. Amen. Amen. Please give attention to the screen for our scripture reading for this morning. John chapter 14, verses 15 to 27. La lectura bíblica esta mañana se presenta por video. Es el Evangelio de San Juan, 14, versículos 15 a 27. Last week we saw Jesus at the Last Supper washing the feet of his disciple and giving them that example. La semana pasada observamos a Jesús ministrando a sus discípulos, lavando sus pies y dándoles ese ejemplo. So that same scene continues now as Jesus promises them the gift of the Holy Spirit. Esta escena continúa esta mañana y vamos a ver cómo Jesús les prometió dar el Espíritu Santo. Please give attention to God's holy word. If you love me, keep my commands. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him 
because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him. For he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. <coughs> Before long, the world will not see me anymore. But you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, But Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. What a promise from Jesus that he would give us his Holy Spirit. A promesa de Jesus que él nos daría su Santo Espíritu. We have great reason to rejoice, even in a world filled with war and sickness and death and loneliness and trauma. We as the people of God know the comfort of God. We know the presence of his Holy Spirit. And so we, in spite of those circumstances, have joy. Tenemos gozo esta mañana porque somos el pueblo de Dios. Aunque hay guerra y pestilencia y enfermedad y pandemia y traumas, miles. Nosotros tenemos una consolación. Tenemos el Espíritu Santo y tenemos motivación de mucho gozo. If you're able to, I invite you to rise and we'd like to sing together, praising God, the song that says, Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Vamos a levantarnos, ponernos de pie y cantar las alabanzas del Señor. La canción dice, jubilosos, te adoramos. This is a melody, I think it goes all the way back to Beethoven is the one that wrote it in one of his symphonies. But it's a hymn that we sing and this is sort of a modern, upbeat arrangement that will help us to express our worship and our joy to the Lord. La música de Beethoven con una, un ritmo más nuevo, más moderno, y vamos a cantar al Señor para expresar nuestro gozo y nuestra adoración. We'll ask for a little more volume, please, Darian. As much as you can give us. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, as the sun above. Let the clouds of sin and sadness drive the clouds of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. Cielo están los osos reflejando tu amor, ángeles y estrellas todos, center of our throat in praise, monte, valle, río y fuente, campo, selva y gancho, mar, nos recuerdan que constante te debemos alabar. Ever blessing, ever blessed. 
to do this each week. It's actually one of my favorite times of the week when people tell what God is doing in their life. Even if it's just a few words, a few sentences. So I invite you, you can take your seats, unless you've got a word of testimony that you'd like to share, and then please stand and tell us. Tenemos oportunidad para expresar un testimonio esta mañana. Decir a todos lo que Dios está haciendo en tu vida. Please, give us a testimony. Share with us what God is doing. Por favor, comparte un testimonio. Como Dios les está bendiciendo. Yo quiero decir contestar lo que el Señor ha hecho para nosotros. Y me doy gracias a Dios por el campamento de ayer, que fue muy lindo. Eh, fue la predicación, después de la superación que comimos y gozamos y todo. Después vino el agua y luego vino el arco iris. Y luego veníamos gozándonos porque al final es la maravilla que el Señor hizo para nosotros se ve Amén. Amén. Fue hermoso. Amén. Muy bonito. Gracias a Dios. We had a, que sea para el Señor. A group that went up to Camp Wonderland again yesterday. Uh, we had a worship time with good preaching, Maddie's telling. And uh, then we had good food and fellowship. And just as we were leaving, the rain came. And it poured down on us, but just for as they say, for a hot second. And then the sun came right back out, even through the rain, it was shining, and we saw the most glorious double rainbow. And as we were driving back to the highway to come back to Joliet, no matter which way we turned, the rainbow was right there. It was like we were heading right for it. And it was beautiful, it was a promise from God. Right, Mike? Yes, praise God, what a beautiful sight it was. Who else would give a testimony this morning? Quien más tiene un testimonio esta mañana? I just, I just want to thank God for yes, me understanding patience. I got to understand, I learned how to understand patience. Right. What a lesson. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to that. Amen. God teaching him. Dios lo está enseñando paciencia. Está dando gracias a Dios por esa lección de paciencia. God bless you, Dave. We appreciate you. Who else has a testimony? I want to. I want to thank God for letting me yeah. get back on my journey with the family. We missed you. And We're glad you're home. And uh, it was a beautiful wedding and everything. And uh, he's got me back safe. And I just want to thank that. And I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to see everybody else there today. Amen. Hermano Nau fue viajando para la boda. Who was the wedding for? Your niece? My niece, yes. Su sobrina se casó y Nau pudo viajar para estar presente y dar gracias a Dios por llevarlo y de ida y de vuelta y está aquí dando de gracias a Dios. Thank you, Nabo. Who else will give a testimony today? Yes, brother. Yeah, I want to thank God that uh, I'm in this program at Morningstar Mission and they helped me out a lot. And I want to thank God that if it wasn't for them, I'd be running the streets wild. <laughs> but I'm in a better place now. I'm doing good for myself. Hallelujah. And uh, Thank God, and for one thing, thank God, I hope that my sister is doing her. real good where she's at, hope she'll be back soon. And I'm gonna thank God that uh, I'm doing better for myself. Amen, by God's grace. Le hermano dando testimonio del ministerio del programa en Morning Star Mission, está recuperando de adicciones, de diferentes usos de drogas y 
que no está en la calle en una vida descarriada y desfrenada, sino está con el Señor. You're with God. You're not wild on the street, as you said. I'm telling them in Spanish. You're with God, and God is with you. Él está con Dios, y Dios está con él. Amen. 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 Giving thanks to God for life. The very gift that we are here breathing is a gift from God, Amen. and we give thanks to Him. The next song he says, it's the cry of my heart to worship you. La canción siguiente dice, es la anhela de mi corazón adorarte, Señor. If you're able, I invite you to rise again. We want to put ourselves in a posture of worship. Nos ponemos en una postura para adorar al Señor. La anhela de mi corazón, the cry of my heart to worship you. It is the cry of my heart to follow you. It is the cry of my heart. The video that's going to play for us today says, ask the question, is he worthy? Yes, he is. Are we broken? Yes, we are. Are we hurting? Without a doubt. But is he worthy? Yes, he is. La canción en el video pregunta, ¿es él digno? Sí es. Aunque estamos adolidos y nuestra vida rota, el mundo roto, pero él es digno. I wonder if I could ask my brother Didi if he would offer a prayer for our offering this morning. And after Didi prays, the video will play, and I invite you to come a few at a time to the altar and to give your offering. Would you pray for us, please, Brother Didi? Let us pray. To you, Lord, we come to your presence in this place to worship you with our tithes and offerings. 
we ask you, Lord, to bless each single individual to able to give today. And we ask you also, Lord, to touch our bodies with that sin. So we can get more strength to work and provide for you as well. Bless us today and the coming days. And also we ask you, Lord, to open doors for opportunities for jobs so we can secure jobs and so we can be able to give a portion of what you give to us back to you. Bless us, Lord, in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Do you feel the world is broken? Do you feel the shadows deepen? Do you know that all the dark can stop the light from getting through? Do you wish that you could see it all made new? This old creation grown
The other one that I've fallen in love with is this arrangement of the doxology, praise God from whom it, blessings flow. I think maybe this is the fourth Sunday in a row I keep putting this in because it just, it's beautiful to me. I hope it is for you and it allows you, it helps you to express that praise to the Lord. Esa canción me toca el corazón también, el mismo arreglo ya cuatro, cuatro domingos enseguida, pero les invito, si quiere, juntar tus voces con los cantantes en el video y expresar I invite you to put your voices with the singers in the video. Blessings, Let's give you Lord. Blessings. The focus this morning is on the Holy Spirit that will teach us all things. El enfoque esta mañana el Espíritu Santo que nos enseñará todas las cosas. So verse 15 starts this way. If you love me. Capítulo 14, versículo 15 comienza así. Si ustedes me aman. It's not guaranteed. It's not automatic. It's not assumed. Jesus says this, if you love me. No es automático. No es algo asumido. Jesús comienza así. Si ustedes me aman. And so I ask you here this morning. How is that love that you have for Jesus? Maybe if you're really honest, you say this morning, you know, I'm a little curious about Jesus, but I can't yet say I love him. I'm feeling a little indifferent. There's a lot going on in my life, and maybe I've got some doubts, and, and if I'm really authentic and honest, I can't say this morning that I love you. Quizá para ti esta mañana, 
honestamente puedes decir, tengo una curiosidad acerca de Jesús, pero realmente no puedo decir que lo amo. O tengo dudas y tengo heridas y no puedo confesar esta mañana que lo amo. Maybe you're here this morning and there's been love for Jesus in your heart before and he's fanning that into flame and he's renewing, he's reviving that love that you have for him. Quizás en el pasado tenías más amor para Jesús, pero esta mañana él está avivando este amor para ti. So he says, if you love me, you will obey what I command. Dice, si me aman, obedecerán mis mandamientos. I like social media, but sometimes you'll see things that go around on Facebook or Instagram or something that says, uh, if you love Jesus, click like. Or if you love Jesus, share this, or type yes, or type amen. I don't know if there's anything wrong with that, but Jesus is looking for something considerably more than that. All right? More than just saying amen or clicking like, Jesus invites us by his Spirit's work in our lives to obey his commands. In the social media, in Facebook, hay muchas que ponen ahí algo de Jesús y dice, si amas a Jesús, aprende el like o aprende para compartir con los demás o uh, te, uh, usa el teclado para escribir sí o amén no hay nada mal en eso pero Jesús está buscando algo mucho más que es nuestro merecimiento we sang this morning that he is worthy of our praise and worship is he worthy of our obedience él es digno de nuestra adoración y nuestro amor es también él digno de nuestra obediencia I like this in Galatians 5.14. It says the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. En Galatas 5, versículo 14, dice la ley entera se cumple en mantener y obedecer este mandamiento. Ama a tu prójimo así como a ti mismo. In each of the specifics of our life, God is directing our paths and teaching us how to walk for Him, how to live in holiness with Him, and obey Him in all the details of our life. But I tell you, the main thing He wants to see is that we love each other, and we demonstrate His love in sincerity. Más que todo, Dios está buscando de nosotros, y si está interesado en las detalles de nuestra vida, las decisiones que tenemos que hacer, cómo vivimos, las decisiones, pero principalmente lo que Dios está buscando es que amemos los unos a los otros. Love your neighbor as yourself. And that's what I believe the Holy Spirit can be teaching us in this season of our lives, in this pandemic, with war around us, with difficulties, economic trials. There's so much going against us, but God can teach us by His Spirit how to love each other. And that's the witness to the world that he is real and his kingdom is real. ¿Crees que el reino de Dios es verdadero? ¿Que Dios mismo es verdadero? Nuestro testimonio al mundo tiene impacto cuando amamos, cuando demostramos el amor de Dios a nuestro prójimo. Verse 16, versículo 16. Jesus saying, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor, to be with you forever. Versículo 16. Y yo le pediré al Padre, y él les dará otro consolador para que los acompañe siempre. In that Greek, I'm not again an expert in Greek, but in my studies, that word that comes out here as uh, counselor or consolador in Spanish, it's wrapped up with a lot of different deep meaning. Esa palabra en el griego tiene una, un significado profundo. It also includes in it the attitude of a comforter, a counselor and a comforter and an advocate. El significado de esa palabra en el griego incluye el concepto de un consolador y también un abogado, alguien que aboga por nuestra parte y nos consuele. This is Jesus saying, I will send you another one. He has been that for his disciples. 
For these three years they lived together. Por esos tres años que Jesús ha vivido con esos discípulos, Él ha sido su consolador. ¿Verdad? Pero Él, esta es la última noche que celebraron la Pascua Judía, Él lavó a sus pies y ahora va a estar crucificado. Pero Él dice que pedirá al Padre para enviar otro consolador. So this last night of Jesus' life, he's promising them the Holy Spirit. He's preparing himself for what he's got to go through with the suffering of the cross. But he says, I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going to ask the Father, and he will send you another advocate, another counselor, another comforter. Verse 17 says that he is the spirit of truth. Versículo 17 dice que él es el Espíritu de verdad. The Spirit of Truth, the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. Versículo 17, el Espíritu de verdad a quien el mundo no puede aceptar porque no lo ve ni lo conoce. Pero ustedes sí lo conocen. Porque vive con ustedes y estará en ustedes. Wow. So this Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, Jesus says, the world cannot accept him and doesn't see him or know him. Jesús dice que el mundo no puede aceptar el Espíritu de la verdad, el Espíritu Santo, porque no se ve ni lo Conoce. Do you look at the world and say, yeah, that's probably right. Jesus got that right. That the Holy Spirit is, it's impossible for someone with a worldly perspective to see. Si alguien tiene una perspectiva mundial, o así de, is that the right way to say that, Lalo? A worldly view that's carnal, ¿verdad? No tiene el, ese aspecto espiritual. Entonces, vi, ve, la gente ve el mundo así como es, pero nosotros como creyentes tenemos el toque del Espíritu Santo y lo podemos conocer y lo podemos ver. We can see what the Holy Spirit is doing with our spiritual eyes when we put our faith in Christ. Then His work becomes visible to us and it becomes active with us. And Jesus says now, the Holy Spirit has been with us as we've been journeying these three years, the miracles He's done, The Holy Spirit has shown up in wonderful ways in the lives of the disciples. He's been with them. But Jesus said, he will soon be in you. The Holy Spirit takes up residence in the life. He takes up a preeminence and he reigns gloriously, sovereignly in the life of a believer. He will be in you. And that's where that teaching takes place. Eh, la enseñanza del Espíritu Santo ocurre en la vida de uno cuando el Espíritu Santo entra y se mora, está dentro de la vida de un creyente. Antes el Espíritu estaba con Jesús, con los discípulos en su ministerio, pero pronto estará en ellos. Verse 19, because I live, you also will live. En versículo 19, Jesús dice, what can I find it here? Dentro de poco el mundo ya no me verá más, pero ustedes sí me verán. Y Jesús diciendo, y porque yo vivo, también ustedes vivirán. Because I live, you will live also. This is Jesus speaking. The life that was in Christ And Christ is the giver of life. He, his life, his spiritual life is present in us as believers. The world all around us may be dying in so many different ways, spiritually and emotionally and economically, but we have life in, by faith in Christ. Tenemos una vida por fe en Jesucristo. Verse 21. He started out by saying this, if you love me, you'll keep my commands. He repeats it now in verse 21. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. Versículo 21. ¿Quién es el que me ama? El que hace suyos mis mandamientos y los obedece. So in English it says, the one who has my commands and keeps them. I like how it says in Spanish, 
if you make my commands yours, you take them in and now they belong to you, then you will obey and I will be with you and I will love you. ¿Quién es el que me ama? El que hace suyos mis mandamientos. Son nuestros ahora. Hemos hecho que los mandamientos del Señor ahora son nuestros y los ponemos en práctica. If you love me, you'll keep my commands. He starts out that way. Now he turns it around in verse 21. He says, if you have my commands and you keep them, that's the one who loves you. Verse 23, versículo 23. Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My father will love them. And we will come to them and make our home with them. What a beautiful picture of God making his home in our life, making his home with us. Versículo 23. Jesús contestó, El que me ama obedecerá mi palabra y mi Padre lo amará y haremos nuestra vivienda en él. Amén. Qué hermosa Amén. ilustración. Dios viviendo con nosotros, haciendo su vivienda, su morada en nosotros. Is that your experience this morning? That's how we learn day by day how to live for him because he makes his dwelling place. He makes his home within our lives. And he will teach us. Verse 26. The advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Versículo 26. El Consolador, el Espíritu Santo, a quien el Padre enviará en mi nombre, les enseñará todas las cosas y les hará recordar todo lo que les he dicho. As we're learning from him, moment by moment and day by day, to love others, that's, that's his commandment, to love God and to love our neighbor. We're learning those things. He's teaching us because he's made his dwelling place within us. And so what comes from that? Is peace. Lo que se manifiesta de ese aprendizaje del Espíritu obrando en nuestra vida, orientándonos, poniendo nuestros pasos en orden por su enseñanza, por el Espíritu, produce algo, algo especial, algo, un tesoro inestimable que es la paz. Verse 27. Peace, Jesus says, I leave with you. My peace, I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Versículo 27. La paz les dejo. Mi paz les doy. Yo no se la doy a ustedes como la da el mundo. No se angustien ni se acobarden. <clears throat> How does the world try to give us peace? What is the false offer of peace that the world gives? Well, material things. If you've got the material things, you're going to be all right and you'll have peace. You get a few of those and all it does is breed in you materialism to want more. And it's a constant hunger for more and it doesn't satisfy. El materialismo que el mundo ofrece no produce ninguna satisfacción ni ninguna paz. Maybe it's in relationships. We think, boy, if I just had the right woman or I just had the right guy, then my, then my world would be okay and I'd have peace. If you don't have peace with God, it won't matter who he brings to you. But if you have peace with him, then the relationships that you develop will grow with that peace and with the true foundation of love. El fundamento verdadero y sólido y permanente eterno de amor es lo que basamos nuestras relaciones. Y con la paz de Dios se puede manifestar una relación adecuada para nuestra vida. So my peace I give you, it's not like the world offers, it's a permanent peace, and it's a peace that passes understanding. La paz de Dios es más allá de lo, que, de, de lo que podemos comprender. Es una paz eterna. <clears throat> and it's a peace that lasts in the midst of struggle. There are reasons that the world puts in our path why we could be troubled or why we could be afraid. We wouldn't be, you know, wrong to face those fears, but Jesus says, in the midst of those things, you can have peace and your heart is at peace without being troubled and disturbed. I like how it says in Spanish, me gusta como dice en español, no se angustien 
ni sea cobarde. En inglés dice que no, no está perturbado tu corazón y que no teme. Pero me gusta en español como dice, no se angustie ni sea cobarde. I like how it says in Spanish, don't let your heart be anguished and don't let it be cowering. You know, have you ever seen somebody, they're just shuddering with so much fear, they're cowering in front of whatever it is that's terrifying them. I, I think of our puppy at home, and if he's naughty and we shake our finger at him, he just cowers. And that, that's what it's saying. We don't, that the world wants to put us in that place, and the enemy of our soul wants us to live that way. And God says, no way. Don't let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. No se angustien, ni se acobarde. How do you answer this word this morning? If you love me, we started with that question. Do you keep his commands? What is his command to love others? How can we do that? By accepting his Holy Spirit. By accepting the life that he offers. That's how we can learn to obey him and to put his love in practice. ¿Cómo contestamos la pregunta entonces esta mañana? Si amamos a Jesús, si ponemos en práctica y obedecemos a sus palabras, si recibimos la invitación del Espíritu Santo a hacer su vivienda en nosotros. We always give everyone an opportunity to respond. No queremos nunca terminar cualquier domingo sin dar la oportunidad de responder. I hope you never get tired of me asking because I'm going to keep asking you to respond because I think God is always teaching us and always inviting us to take that next step. So there's no shame if nobody comes because this morning, that's not happening. But if God's touching your heart, I always want to give you an opportunity. That's what he's saying is, come to this place of prayer or kneel where you are, bow your heart and say to him, this week, God, I'm ready to learn again from your Holy Spirit to teach me and to cause me to remember what I need to know so I can obey you and love others. Esta semana, Señor, voy a esperar con ojos abiertos, oídos abiertos, a tu Santo Espíritu enseñarme cómo amar y cómo obedecer. Si tú necesitas venir a este lugar de oración esta mañana, no hay ninguna vergüenza aquí. No, es un lugar glorioso de estar arrodillado delante del Señor, dedicando nuestra vida y nuestro corazón a obedecerlo. There's never any shame in coming to this place of prayer. Maybe some people think, oh, well, they have to repent. What have they done? They're shame. No, it's never about that. It's about coming closer to God and saying yes to him. So we've got a video that's going to play. And this one, this time, is talking about may the peace of God. It's a beautiful song. The young man that's singing it is facing the deepest waters of his life right now because his mother is on hospice care. She's been fighting cancer for several years and it's come to the end and there's no more treatment for her. All they can do is make her comfortable. That's uh, Captain Mirka Arias. So it's Sam Arias that's singing this morning. It's a song that he wrote years ago. But now, as we play this video, I'm praying for Sam, for his dad, Pedro, his brothers, Roland and Ronald, that today their mother's in hospital on hospice care. They're trying to make her comfortable, but very soon she'll see her her Heavenly Father. I don't know what you're facing today. If it's something like that, you've got loved ones that their life is lying in the balance. If there's a trial that you're facing, but if we learn from the Holy Spirit, we can have his peace. Esta mañana el Capitán Pedro y sus hijos están en el hospital con Mirka, que pronto recibirá su promoción a la gloria. <clears throat> y el que canta en este video es Samuel Arias, que dice que la paz de Dios nos inunda, nos rodea, y nos consuela. May the peace of God guard our hearts. There's attacks out there, and this song is about the peace of God guarding our heart. I'm not going to say anything else. I'm going to play the video, and I'm going to invite you to pray and to respond to God. No voy a decir nada más. Presentar el video, escucha la música, la letra, pero más que todo, escucha el Espíritu Santo, y diles que sí. Cualquier cosa que el Espíritu te está diciendo. Let us worship God and respond to Him in these moments.
one from all peace flows. May the parts of you that feel incomplete or inadequate be made whole, undivided in Christ. May your loneliness and separation be transformed into unity with the comforting presence of the Prince of Peace. May you be brought deeper into healthy community with the Godhead and the body be made holy with his participating peace. May peace be the binding force between all your relationships. May peace come to you as you endure the storms of life, fortified by the strong presence of the one who walks on stormy waters to help you. May you, with the help of God, sustain the difficulties of life and find peace on the other side of the struggle. Peace, peace is not the absence of conflict. Instead, it carries us through to establish the victory of wholeness and reconciliation. May the peace of God bring us sustenance for today's moments and energy and vision for the future. May peace grant you hope Peace grant you freedom and the peace grant you unifying, sustaining love for your creator, creation, the kingdom, and yourself. Our final song, I invite you to rise with me as we prepare to go forth. The song says, There is a Redeemer. Les invito a ponerse de pie y cantemos nuestra última canción, Redentor Divino. There's three verses. There is a Redeemer. We have a God who is redeeming everything that happens in our life for his honor and his glory. Tenemos un Dios que redime lo que suceda en nuestra vida para su honra y su gloria. Cantemos.
God, send us forth to do your work, sí. learning from your spirit. Envíanos, Señor, para hacer tus obras, sí. para cumplir tu voluntad, sí. enseñado por tu Santo Espíritu. Sí. And all God's people said, y el pueblo de Dios dijeron, Amen. 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 God bless you.